What's up guys, Day Scott, and today we're here again with another card of the day. Let's just jump into it. So the card of the day today is Gilded Goose. It's a creature bird for one green. When a Gilded Goose enters the battlefield, create a food token. One green tap, create a food token. Also, tap, sacrifice a food. Add one mana of any color, zero two. So this is essentially a standard playable Birds of Paradise. I'm not sure if they ever print a Birds of Paradise again in standard. It's a one mana mana dork that taps for like any color, right? But it's also zero one. Is this better? I think it honestly might be comparable, right? I mean, I'm sure it's a one-time shot, but like it's also a mana sink that also like helps you against aggro, but like Birds of Paradise isn't helping you against aggro. You're playing greens, like you probably have like a lot of efficient mana dorks. I like this card a lot. Um, you should probably put it in like your ramp green decks, right? This is a one mana, and especially in standard where like there's not too many one mana mana dorks. Even if it's a one shot, it's like you can always ramp into your cultivate for your next turn on turn two, which is super good. Um, and in the one you don't have a cultivate or turn three play like that, you always just play like your next like incubation druid or paradise druid, right? Uh, if you're if you don't, you just make another food, right? <laughs> which is not bad. That means you can just use it against like aggro that way. Against aggro, if they're playing 1-1s one and stuff, this blocks it and also creates 3 life. That's disgusting. It's like, it's, it basically makes them discard like their lightning strike, right? That's that's pretty good. They have to kill this. <laughs> um, EDH, I'm not sure if it's EDH playable, just because of how faster uh, EDH is. You tend to want your mana all the time. And creating food usually isn't thing, because people usually win with combos. So this is probably isn't worth it in EDH, but... If you do need a one mana mana dork, this is your go-to because it's also, I think, cheaper than a lot of one mana mana dorks, just because of how new it is and how many like how many of them are opened. But like other than that, this card I think is pretty nutty. Like, if you're not comparing it to like Arboreal Grazer, which can like forever block any aggro creature, this card is pretty good for what you, for what you get. You also like this is gain five life, right? Because the food token gives you three life if you crack it. And it has two health on itself. That's kind of good, right? Against aggro for one mana. That's that's pretty good, right? And that's even to say, like, that helps you ramp, ramp into your big boys. So, like, you're beating aggro against it. Against, uh, you're beating aggro with this. <laughs> it's pretty good. Um, but yeah, that's all I really have to say about it. I don't really know if there's too many other applications for this. It, means, it makes artifacts. But if you're not using artifacts with, like, Urza, I'm not sure how good it is. Um, I so like animating them or something, then again, it's like, is it worth animating food tokens? I don't know. Um, cool card though. I really like this card. Really neat. It lays golden eggs. <laughs> That's a cool, it's a cool goose. But uh, yeah, let me guys think about this in the comment section below and peace out.